We are pleased to present from St. Marguerite Bourgeois Parish in Sydney, Mass for Shut-Ins. Good morning and welcome to Mass for Shut-Ins. Today we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King. We are very pleased to welcome parishioners and choir from St. Louis Parish in Lewisdale and their pastor, Father Duncan McIsaac. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the grace of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we enter into these sacred mysteries this morning, let us ask now for God's mercy and forgiveness in our lives. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock when he is going among his scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep. I will make them lie down. Says the Lord God, I will seek the lost and I will bring back the strayed and I will bind up the injured and I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed my sheep with justice. As for you, my flock, thus says the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. my shepherd I shall not want the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd, 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a man. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ but each in his own order, Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, after he has destroyed every ruler and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When all things are subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who has put all things in subjection under him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Matthew. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats and he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you, a stranger, and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it to me. The Gospel of the Lord. Today marks the end of the church's liturgical year, and we begin a new year and a new season with Advent next week. 
few of us have been subject to a king. And the few kings left in the world do not have the power over their subjects uh, that a king in ancient times or in the Roman Empire had. In the first reading, Ezekiel depicts a time when the power of the kings will diminish or even end, and God will be their king. But his reign will not be one of pomp and majesty, but of the kindest of shepherds, tenderly giving care to the most vulnerable of the flock. For Paul, Christ's resurrection signaled that the end times had begun, and very soon, he thought, Christ will reign as king, also in a unique way. Christ the king will bring not more money and prestige to the rich, but life eternal to those who belong to him. He promises just judgment. Yes, we will all face judgment. It is a certainty of our faith. So how do we belong to Christ? What is the test? It's not money or power or worldly honor that gains our admittance to Jesus' kingdom. It's not complicated by questionnaires or examinations. The test is to be a good shepherd who binds up the injured and heals the sick. To be with him and in him, Christ the King chooses quite simply those who give food, drink, clothing, and comfort to those in need or neglected. Whatever you do to the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you do it to me. When we pray the Our Father, we ask thy kingdom come, especially for peace and harmony. We become instruments of that kingdom building in offering our own lives in imitation of Jesus in the power of the cross by living a life of Christian service, feeding those who are hungry, giving drink to those who are thirsty, making the stranger welcome, clothing those who are naked, visiting those who are sick, and those in prison. Specifically, have we cared for the least among us through the corporal and spiritual works of mercy? To all our shut-ins, at home or in the hospital or health care facilities, you have enormous gifts to offer in service to Christ the King. Shelter, neighbor, family, friends who visit you with your welcome, your smile, your embrace. Clothe your children and grandchildren and loved ones with your love, compassion, and kindness. Feed them with your wisdom, knowledge, and experience. Give drink to those who thirst for peace in our world by your prayers, and you will bring about a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. Together now as a community of faith, let us profess that faith as we recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear people, let us now bring before the Lord our prayers of intercession for our needs, the needs of others, and indeed of the world. For our church, that the community of God's beloved disciples may appreciate the gifts given to us and be good and just stewards in our sharing of those gifts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our diocesan families, that we can unite our efforts to help all individuals and families in the search for affordable housing, nutritional food, and the necessities for daily life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all local, national, and world leaders, may they be supported and encouraged in their efforts to create a more just and tolerant world where all people can live in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all persons facing illness in health care centers and homes, and for persons who provide them with compassionate care each day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the comfort and prayer for families who are mourning the loss of loved ones as they celebrate their love and lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, hear the prayers of your people and grant what you have inspired us to ask in faith. We make our prayer through Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Through your goodness we have received the bread we are to give, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mis mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory 
as without end, we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Wayne Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with good Saint Dan, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us then offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and just peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I love you and long to receive you sacramentally. I embrace your presence within me and unite myself in gratitude that you are abiding in me and I in you. I pray for the grace to go forth with your spirit of peace and healing to meet the needs of this day. We will take the cup of life and call upon God's name. Our blessing of is a communion with the blood of Christ. And the bread we break, it is a sharing in the body of the Lord. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you all. Amen. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.